saw quite a few birds. Uh, a couple gobblers out there and got a good good look at them and they were calling back. Figure we go out tomorrow first thing in the morning and see if we can get get some action going and, and get these guys on some birds. Excited for sure. So hopefully tomorrow's the day. Yeah. That'll work. heavily involved in Oregon Adaptive Sports, which is a ski winter program um, that we do cognitive and physical disability people. And then along with that, we also do a summer program, which is bicycling, kayaking, um, fishing program. And over and above that, then I do this hunting program on my own, but um, tie it together with OAS because that's where I get a lot of our participants to come out here and hunt. A lot of them hunted when they were 12, 13 years old, like in Eric's case, he had an accident and now he's, you know, back out at 25 years old. So, you know, it's good for him. It gives him a chance to go do something he hasn't been able to do for quite a few years. So it's nice. Lots of turkeys on the place. And so we, Mark and I hit it off and we stayed in contact and realized this is something we want to try to do every year. So every year we, we try to do it the same weekend and get a couple hunters out here and try to get them their first turkey. With me, the, the main thing was, you know, as a veteran, I appreciate all the support that I get. And I understand that, you know, people like Eric, who Eric's a, a civilian that got injured, he doesn't have the same support system, uh, you know, whereas his rehab was uh, maybe 30 days, you know, I had three months of rehab in a VA facility. Um, and so I want, you know, our veterans to understand that blessing that we have. Yes, it was earned, but at the same time, pass that on. You know, past the fact that that uh, you know, I can I can put in for some support equipment to be able to play basketball, to go skiing, to do all these things. You know, when I have some old equipment, donate it. You know, do things like that to where now you can put it in somebody else's hands where they're not going to have that opportunity and they can do that. And so, um, with my organization, that was kind of the 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 ultimate goal was, yeah, of course we want to help you know re rehabilitate and and uh, get veterans back doing things, but we also want them to build relationships in the community and help others uh, with the benefits that we have.